Hello everyone. Uh, last week we talked about, or last video we talked about the different models that can be used for fitting experimental data for methane yield. And today you are going to ex explain one of the methods that you can use to estimate the parameters for uh, different models. And today I'm also going to just a specific model which is Gombert's model. And last week we talked about this, uh, that the model is uh, have three parameters. This is B0, this is the maximum methane yield. And it has also RM, is this is the maximum methane production uh, rate, which is ml per gram Vs per hour. And the theta, theta is the uh, uh, leg phase. So suppose that we have experimental data here that is methane yield that was collected for different uh, time intervals from time zero to 600 hours, which is uh, 25 days. Actually, for this convert, the time should be uh, in hours, but maybe other models you can use just the days. And here's the value measured from time zero to time 600. And as you can see, this is very high uh, methane yield. Maybe this for uh, lipid rich material. Okay, so the idea here is that say we have, I guess, the some numbers here, some uh, values for the parameters B0, RM, and theta. So, so now we can, if we have this measured value, we can just estimate the value based on the value that guessed here. For B0, RM, and the theta. So the idea here is just to write Excel function like this one here. Keep in mind that this value should be constant, so you can use the sign sign dollar for the values for B0, RM, and uh, theta. So now you can just drag this function down and calculate the or estimate the values for methane yield based on what you have here. Okay. So now, if you can see here, we have some kind of trend, more or less trend, but it's not really data fitting, right? It's very bad fitting. So we can actually try another value, maybe. Oh, better, right? You can try another value, maybe more here. Yeah, it's changing a little bit. Oh, this is really tedious, right? This is why you have to have uh, a better way, which is data fitting, basically. Otherwise, you can have try and error for years, right? Until you get the value close by the measured value. So the idea here is that Okay, just as this, based on the, the value, we get just estimation here. So you can get the, the residuals. This is the difference between the measured and the estimated value based on the first guess here. So just to uh, subtract C, C value here, this is estimated value from the measured value, and for all the, the values that measured here through the, the time. So as you can see, we have different values, maybe some of them positive, some of them negative, maybe. If you change this one to, I don't know, six maybe, just to get some positive values. Yeah, it seems that it's not really. Yeah, just to, yeah, you can, yeah, for some other um, application, you might get actually positive. Yeah, you can have some positive values here, okay? So after you get this residuals, you can, residuals, you can actually, we need to have the, uh, squares of the residuals. So basically what you do, you can actually just uh, multiply this value by itself, which is exponential two. So here you can drag this value down. Okay, so as you can see, this is values are positive here. And then the next step to calculate the sum of squares of residuals, which means that this is just summation of the values that you just calculated in E column here, okay? So again, you can try and error for years and you can get whatever actually values 
but in reality it's not really the way that it should be yeah whatever actually value change here it will change the curve of course and change the value that you estimate okay so to, to fit the data you have to go to the data here and then you can get the solver so now what we need to do we need actually to minimize this uh, sum of squares of residuals so the idea here is just to minimize this this means that you need actually to get the value closer and closer to the measured value okay so you put this value that we need to minimize which is uh, e35 here okay and then what what will be the values that we need to change we need to change these three values basically this values for b values for r value for theta okay as you can see here this is the values before data fitting here this is the value for measured and this is the value uh, for the uh, estimated value it's very bad actually fitting so what you can do is just solve this to minimize the residuals and here you can see the magic here this is basically <laughs> the measured against the data fitting or the fitting data against the measured value and then just okay and you can see here this is just uh, the uh, measured against the or basically the fitting value against the measured value you can actually also maybe plot the X, the measure the estimated value against the measured value so basically you can get r squared between both so you can actually get, see how good the fitting is and just the visual here this is very good fitting and this is the value that is estimated by excel i hope this is useful you can also use the same concept actually for uh, other models and other applications maybe for plant growth or other algae growth growth or some other uh, models with that i would like to end up here and if you have any question thank you bye bye